Hello. Hello and welcome. You have reached the Calentier internal decision meeting for August the 27th. I am Dorcas Whitecap. I am IS Herald. That is the internal submissions herald for Calentier. Uh, let's introduce ourselves. Uh, Gawain, how about you? I'm Gawain and Miss Bridge. Um, I have lost track. Um, I'm Green Anchor Herald, uh, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that and that's, a, um, that's a Herald at large at the kingdom level. Um, Herveus. Hi, I'm Herveus Armand, uh, Gnome Herald, also Morsalus Herald. Not from okay. Calentier. Oh, not from Ken and welcome, Gottfried. I am Gottfried von Schwaben. Uh, I am Saker Herald, uh, which is the external submissions herald for Calentier. Giovanni. I am Giovanni Lodadan, currently Kite Herald for the Kingdom of Calentier, which is the regional deputy uh, reporting deputy for the Northeast, or basically Iowa. Um, Zanita, you're still on mute, so there you are. I know, I'm, I'm, I muted myself on purpose. I'm Zanita Basaggio. I am currently Red Hawk Herald for Calentier. That's our external commenting herald. I am also currently the Axe Root Herald for a couple more weeks. Okay, and Brigida. Hi everybody, I'm Brigida von München. I am Gold Falcon Herald, who supposedly is in charge of this circus. <laughs> These are your monkeys. They are my monkeys, you got it. Fly. So at Penzik, I gave uh, monkeys to uh, all, the con all the heralds at uh, Herald's Point <laughs> because uh, Juliana, uh, more than once said, these are my monkeys. This is my circus. Yes. So I don't know if she ever noticed that, that they had monkeys. Uh, all right, then. So we are looking at the letter, uh, the internal letter dated uh, 727. There are 22 decisions to be made tonight. So without further ado, um, let's see, Giovanni said that he's going to watch YouTube. So if people want to post a question or a comment there, uh, feel free. We do have uh, three slots open if you wanted to join this meeting. But uh, let's just get started. Item number one, Batilda Rabbit, name and device. But let's start with the name. Yeah. Righteous links, no comments found. I didn't or see no that. conflicts. Were found. Yeah, well, then I'll just make a note that this one gets uh, sent up to Laurel. And the device uh, quarterly ghouls and sable, two rabbits respectant, maintaining above their heads a bat displayed argent. Respectant takes care of the fact that they're salient, right? They're state and erect, yeah. Yeah, okay. There's no default posture for bunnies. Um, so um, we need to say uh, respectant does not imply anything except the fact that they're facing one another. Um, so we need to say uh, give a posture. I was suggesting stat and direct. That, uh, that is correct. I forgot. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Well, we, if, if they were rampant or not rampant, uh, combatant, I think that would imply that they were rampant. Yeah. Yes. Combatant is, de is defined as rampant respected. Yep. Um, but, the other thing that I noted was that that bat is too big to be maintained. Right. I suggested that call it sustain. Yes, it, they, they don't have any differences anymore, but the, the terminology would probably produce a larger bat for someone not seeing the blazon. Works yeah. for me. And, my, and, question, my question was about uh, the fact that the bat is up here, uh, sustaining above their heads. Is that what we should say? How about sustaining in chief? Yeah. 
Well, um, if we go back to non-heraldic terminology, uh, sustain means held up from below. But I know that that's not the way we define it in, in Blazon. Right, not in the FCA. And honestly, we could argue the minutia of the of the blazon. Let's let that go up the pay grade. So yeah. Other, okay. I would mention: Do we need to specify that the attempt was for a cant here, so that they won't change that bat to a rear mouse? No, I don't think that needs to be. Uh, uh, Actually, that's not that's not a bad point. In a notes, yeah. in a in a name or a device notes, yeah. That way, they won't be wanting to to change it to a re re mouse. Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing, it doesn't it? Break the cant. Is it is it important to the client that we call it a bat? Oh, it totally is. Her name yes. is Bat Helda. Bat Helda ah. Rabbits. Okay. Yeah, it's a wonderful cant. It's like cedar rabbits. All right. <laughs> um, one thing that speaks to me here is that bat is of comparable visual weight to each of the rabbits. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if it can be co-primary because of the overall arra arrangement of things. It may well end up being co-primary. Um, the rabbits cross the professed line. The bat doesn't. So... Mm, Oh, goodness. Are people going to complain that this blurs the line between dis discharge groups? Undoubtedly, but so what? I, 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 I'm, I'm mentioning it so that it doesn't come up as a surprise. surprise. Yeah. Um, I if, the bat, if the bat were a, bit were a bit smaller, it would remove that question from the table in, all, in any serious way. I'm not suggesting things be changed. I mention it for yeah. you know, no. notes in case. No, appreciate it, and then I'll and then I'll come back with a. But it fills the space properly. So yeah. you could also put a note in the internal notes to sovereigns. Yeah, exactly. That, you know, we thought about this. We we are. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Let us move on, then. Unless somebody has something new to say about uh, item one device. Just the comment to reblazon uh, as Modoc suggests. Right. Got that. Okay. All right, then. Item number two, Kassar, Bjarnar, daughter, name, and device. Let's start with the name. Anybody have anything to say? There are very few Kassars registered. I found no comments. Conflicts. Okay. Is is that a is that a good citation from O'Corran and McGuire? Is, do we, is it dated? Uh, I mean, well, it says daughter of King A, but is that the contemporary spelling of the name? I, I don't I don't know. I know O'Corran and McGuire can be problematic and easy to use wrong. So I. I, I raised I raised the question without being sure that it's, you know. Um, how about? It, how it, about it, we send it up, and if they need additional information, they'll find additional information. Well, exactly. Well, that was my suggestion. In a, in a name note, to say we set it up. This is the best that we have. If if better supporting documentation can be found, we would it, we would welcome it. All right. Thank um, you. We've got the Appendix C support for Old Irish, Gaelic, and Scandinavian name elements. So, all right then, the device. Profess, per pure and argent, a demi bear issuant from the line of division maintaining a sage blossom and an open book counterchanged. Um. My microphone is muted. Uh, one of my, my personal pet peeves that, that is a new thing, that is totally a good thing, but whatever. I despise Impale when when items could not be anywhere other than Impale. Um, so we, we could reblazon it as Impale. I don't think it's going to clear up the blazon any more than it already is. I mean, it defaults. 
Yeah, that, that's the default. There's no reason to add impale, but that's the current thing is adding impale to everything. But I had a little bit. Wayne, were you going to repeat your original comment? Because yeah, um, I, I if I didn't see this, if I just read the blazon, I would see the bear holding both the blossom and the book. And um, I agree. I, I agree that that is an issue. Um, I, I wonder if we just said um, something like uh, maintaining a sage blossom. Uh, Comma in base a book? No, that puts and, it too small. Well, yeah, without the and. If um, we just comma and open book counter how about How about blossom comma and open book counter change? Would that clarify it? Perfect. Those? Yeah. I, I think that would really help it better than putting it in pale. So how about oral suggestion that we might need to add slipped and leaved? Hmm. Well, it certainly is slipped and leaved. Yep. We probably should. Yep. Yeah. That one's a valid add. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't count for diddly, but yes. It's yeah, I, I like Oral's um, comment that, you know, we really, the flower should really be larger because I can't, it looks almost like an ice cream cone. Yeah. Well, this is not your average bear. Of course not. It's Yogi Bear. Oh, it's an ice cream cone. How do yeah. I, I think with the comma and the uh, addition of slipped and leaved, I think. The blazon would be would match the emblazon. All right, so I have without the in base or in pale or whatever. I have perfess per pure and argent, a demi bear issuant from the line of division, maintaining a sage blossom slipped and leaved, comma, an open book counterchanged. I think that yes. Will yeah. Okay. Now, anything else is above our pay grade. Okay. Agreed. All right. And making that note. All right, so moving along to, oh, and yes, I have saved uh, the drawings that uh, that Oral provided just in case. You know what, she made a bear that's just as skinnier, skinnier bear than, than Kevin's bear. So uh, I'll keep them just in case, but all right. Item number three, Eva Selenson, name and device. Let's start with the name. Frida asked whether it ought to be Selen's doctor. Good point. I know nothing about Dutch patronymics. I think in the 15th century, I and we found a patronymic surname as Selenson. I, I think that's above us. I'm good with leaving it as it is. From my historical research, I know that the Dutch used inherited or not mm -hmm. not have inherited names until Napoleon came through and rickrolled everybody in the early 1800s. Until uh, we, for the most part, most everybody used the the patronymics. In, in Arianwi's Dutch fifteenth uh, century Dutch surnames article from the from the surname documentation, if you scroll down past to uh, Geertrud, um, start at G E E R. It's listed as uh, that one is listed as a rare example of a matronym. So in Dutch, it seems that it's a rare example to find a, patro a matronym instead of patronym. But a matronym is named after the, 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 the mother. mother. Right. right. Adding this doctor is not. that A patronym is still adding the doctor. It's you're named after the father, the patra. Yeah, it's the father's daughter. So what uh, I want right. to is, has anybody looked in, in this article to find a woman, an, an obvious female person on it I'm on, yeah <laughs> with with a surname of son 
so that we can say, look, it's a, it's an inherited surname. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we'll have to talk to uh, Eva and ask her if she's okay with uh, Selen's doctor. So while Brigitte's looking for that, let's discuss the device. Purpure, a hummingbird hovering or within four knitting needles fretted in massel argent. And I'm gonna give a shout out to Marie Chantal Delaire who did this artwork right there at the table. Yeah. Very nice. That's good. Yeah. I didn't see any conflicts. Oh, what the heck? And no complaints about the knitting needles from anybody? No, knitting needles are good. The question is, if I can get back to my thing, does it need to be, if we have fretted, do we need to have a fret in maskel? I have not looked to see how it normally is blazoned. Well, I would think that we could leave it in there because it wouldn't hurt, and then... Um, oh. If Ruth wants to reblaze in it, it would be hard to um, fret four um, knitting needles anyway, but either in maskel or in, in a square. <laughs> um, in Delph. Uh, yeah, that, that's those would be the only ways you could fret four knitting needles. Um. Well, let's leave it in and let oh. Ruth take it out. Okay. Unless anybody is really strongly. Okay. Oh, Brigida's waving her hand. What have you got, Brigida? Okay. Um, we have documentation in there as the patronymic as, for example, Gisbert, Gibert, as Gibert daughter, Gibert son. And so it shows that it does need to have, it appears to be needing mm -hmm. the daughter. Same thing under Garrett, Garrett's daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've got 10 yeah. or nine matches where I'm going to. But did yep. we find a feminine given name? All they're doing is they're listing the patronymics. We, yeah. There is no first name attached to them. Right. She, oh. Ariane had split the lists for given and surnames. So unless we went back to the original. Uh, let me go. Let me go there and. Um, otherwise, somebody's going to need to contact Eva. Yeah, there's nothing in the original article that was linked at the bottom of the page. Okay. Um, if you go to uh, the... Hold on, I was just at the given names version, part of her, her 15th century let, names. Give me a second here. Um. Okay, so uh, Cena says in Dutch, my name is based on relationship can be formed with Latinized particles or their Dutch counterparts such as son or brother or doctor or with. Uh, by names of relationship are also formed with the father's name unmodified or placed in the genitive form. Yeah. Well, that doesn't help. No, but that leads credence to the fact that we need to add the, the doctor. And I did find the original article, and um, it's still separated out. There's no mm -hmm. combinations of names. Yeah, it gives uh -huh. the source, but it's, uh -huh. a, it's a, Dutch, a Dutch document, basically. Yep collection of trade documents and it's not linked it just gives the name of the collection Hang on. yeah and i'm going further now into other articles dutch articles specifically by arianwe to see if there's anything that says well okay 15th century dutch names i've got a list of, of given names with last names but i'm not finding any Girls' names yet? Yeah. Uh, well, the only thing I'm looking at is she breaks them out between surnames and given names, which is cool. But what I'm looking at, I've got a different article. Okay. So what I think is going to happen 
is I think um, they would change it at Laurel level, even if we don't change it. Well, so I, what we should do is warn her that it probably will change and then, you know, put a note in begging for mercy. We do have on our forms whether the person says, well, why? let me go back to Cena before I'm talking. I'm thinking we, we've got in, in, in our form specifically whether they want to have a masculine or a feminine name. She specified feminine. She specified feminine, so then it needs to be doctor unless she chooses that she doesn't care. And then can well, we go no, gender? that's not the point. Eva is a feminine name. Eva cannot go with a the patronymic of son. Correct. Is what we're is what we're gonna find out here. And she did not check the boxes of doom. She'd just been going by Selenson because you know, that's a modern thing. You yeah. know, my mundane name is Jacobson. I ain't yeah. nobody's son, but nope. it's what we're used to. So let me. <clears throat> uh, I think we're going to have to move on. Okay. Yep. I would, I, yeah. Contact, contact the client. Let them know that it's probably going to need to get changed mm -hmm. and just make it as a note in the external. Yep. In yeah. the. Yep. Especially, Send it up the way it is. And especially then, if the submitter is okay with that change. That's yep. a really good thing to have called out. It makes makes Pelican's job so much simpler. Okay. All right. So um, who is going to contact the submitter? I can do it. I was there when she submitted the form. So. Yeah. So I will, I will get you at, with you after the meeting reference. I'm trying to get a cop in contact with a couple of submitters from with messages from Pelican. I, I don't know if you're tracking or not. Okay. Some, yeah. After the meeting, after the meeting. Okay. Moving along. Cause we already talked about the device. We seem to like the device. Um, number four, uh, Fiona, Nick Allister, a new augmentation of arms. Boy, my artwork looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Well, you could use a little uh, more interna de internal detailing. Well, tough noogies. <laughs> <laughs> Complain to my boss. Wait, you are your boss. <laughs> no, she has a boss. But I do have a boss, but I don't think... She's she really bad. would want to. <laughs> she she has on that one. She has she has two separate bosses actually. <laughs> and the crown too. That's true. Okay, so item number four. I'm just going to mark this to be sent up. Mm -hmm. Fine. All right. Yep. Item number five. Franco Suarez, a resub of his device. Um, I know that this was discussed a little bit on um, a previous internal letter uh, after a conflict was found, and then this is Modar's artwork, and then... So we have Argent on a pile azure, a winged sword inverted, pommeled of a pomegranate, or winged Argent. I think it's a really nice-looking design, and I didn't find any conflicts. Yeah, once we change that's what I was looking at once we changed that tincture of the wings. Yep. Well, all right then. Yeah. I'm making this, a note. And this is a new submission at the Laurel level, right? Correct, yes. Or okay. wait a minute. It the text says we was we were returning kingdom. Kingdom for right. conflict. And the second attempt was also returned, I think, at Kingdom for Conflict. Double so, check. Yeah, I will double it. check that before the LOI goes out. New I to Laurel, I think. Right, because if it were returned anywhere else, there would be uh, a mention, I think, of the LOAR where it got returned on. Yeah. One thing. I, I try to be good about that. Yeah. So, But yes, double check that. But I've got a note here, new to Laurel, yeah. probably. It's sadly, it's getting to the point where I'm 
seeing submissions and losing track of when I've seen them. Are you working <laughs> out? Do we need a new saker? <laughs> I don't know. It's just I'm looking and go, I've seen this. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> All right. Um, moving right along. Item number six. Uh, the other Gawain, who uh, is a Oh, you're talking about the Baron Gawain that used to be Gold Falcon? Uh, no, the <laughs> Gawain that's a pelican. <laughs> oh, no, it's the Gawain who has an augmentation of arms. <laughs> oh, oh. The, the, oh. the Gawain that's a court baron. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for those not in the know, there are two Gawains... This is the new augmentation for the one who's not in the meeting right now. Well, I knew that part. <laughs> well, <laughs> in case anybody watching YouTube in the future wonders what the heck we're babbling about. So, Gawain up Tristram, very ghouls and ore, a dragon sagrient to sinister sable, and for augmentation, the dragon maintaining an escutcheon per pure charged with a cross of Calatrava within a Borgir ore. And I Gawain, really I take your good. point about the Borgir ore. And this is not the Ensign, is it? Right. This is the Calentir standard augmentation, which technically doesn't really have great contrast with the field, even though the field is neutral. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of gold bordure against gold bear bells. Oh, I, need oh, I still think it's a really good design. Oh yeah. That's the, I need nice. to I need to check here. I'm gonna I'll want to check O and A. Because it's, I thought we had a, a we, I thought we had two augmentations. Yeah. Yes, no, we well, have an ensign. You don't need to yeah, check for that. We have it. The previous, previous augmentation, it didn't have the border. This one does. They right. both cite standard augmentation. Right, that's um, not what the question is. The question is, this is the one with the bordure. Right. Is there a contrast problem? No, that's why the one with the bordure was, well, was designed. I. It's hard to say whether... Wreath will find a contrast issue. Wreath might find a contrast issue. Wreath might not. <coughs> There's only one way to find out. And gotcha. if, if Wreath finds there to be a contrast issue, then you take the border off and do it again, and there's no contrast issue then. True. That and I'm true. really certain that Gawain at Tristram uh, having been a herald for a lot of years, uh, would totally understand if we came back and said, your device was returned and here's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it would be a fairly easy change to the non-border discussion. Get yeah. your purple marker out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to say, uh, send this one up yeah. and let us move along. Uh, okay, so item number seven, Guttorm Ragnvaldson, name and device. Uh, first, the name. Pretty straightforward. Okay, I'm going to mark that one, send up. Yep. And the device, quarterly, vert and sable, a cross quarterly counterchanged fimbriated ore. I love this. Yep. I saw no conflicts. Yeah. Surprise. It's a beautifully Jamaican device. <laughs> cool man. Uh, no man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to make the comment. I'm not um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and mark this one to send up. And now I've got reggae music playing in my head. Thank you. And you're welcome. All right. Item number eight. Hashim Ibn Al-Junaid, new name and new device. Anything interesting to say about his name? They're all from Dawood's article. And that's as far as I can get it. it yeah. And no, nowhere near my Balawick. And that's well, 
that's a righteous source. If it follows that faithfully, then you yeah, yep. go for it. And all right, then um, the device sable, a Persian double bow, or it has no bearing on this acceptability of this but does anybody know where that thing comes from where what's the history of that no, no. does it come from the same place trousers of nobility come from <laughs> could be <laughs> because the thing is trousers of nobility are a design motif that europeans looked at had no idea what to call it and they just gave it this ridiculous name so I'm going to guess that there's a possibility that if you found some Islamic heraldry of the period, you might see something that vaguely suggests a bow stuck, two bows stuck together like this. But, well, I don't know. That's, that's as good as I could come up with. You know what it looks like it could have been at, in the Persian heraldry? In my eyes, that could easily have been a hourglass of sorts. Yeah. Yep. But it looks like Brigitte has her hand up or is trying no, to. No, I'm going to send it up. Oh. Yeah, with <laughs> with a comment. With a comment. And as uh, Gwen, the Gwen had, had put in the down in a, in the down, a comment further down about from the pig dick as a non European motif, its, its use carries a step from period practice. Thank you. So mm -hmm. I'll add that. And John SFPP. Okay. Thank you for catching that. Um, moving right along. Magmore, Barony of New Order Name. Award of the Bullseye of Magmore. This is documented within an inch of its life. Mm -hmm. Agreed. And I don't think one way or the other that they're going to care if the apostrophe carries or not. I know they prefer it because they registered the order or okay. the, the bull's horn. Okay. okay. And um, I remember commentary because I've been looking at old stuff today. Um, it was in 2015, in fact. Um, in the commentary, uh, they would have been okay with dropping the apostrophe, but another way to spell the possessive of bull, bull, spells, spells something crazy like bullets rather than bulls. Right, okay. That noise, can they mute? Can they no, that would probably be me, sorry. Um, I, I was trying to get your attention. Anyway, uh, it has to be without the apostrophe. It's Link No. But Harold Hill, Hill, same reason. That's why we don't have an apostrophe after the L it, before the S in Harold's. With all the, the things Cordon we just sent through, we, ha we couldn't have the apostrophe just because that's what the rule says. However, however, you said bull. We have currently registered um, bull's horn. Yeah, somebody go the to the ONA. I'm I'm looking at it in Oscar. Okay, it's got the apostrophe. Um, <clears throat> Juliana, who was siren then, right? The the form with the apostrophe apostrophe can be registered as, as the lingua anglica form. Okay. Go to Oanda. Oh. It was registered with the apostrophe. Oh. Throw that link and, in and the... And it was registered on the uh, March 2016 LOAR. Check. If okay, nothing... if they have it registered to them already, then we'll use the not grandfather clause and, and keep it. Because exactly Because everything correct. I looked at when I was looking at, at Cordon We, it was, you're using a surname, it doesn't get the apostrophe. Absolutely correct, because they already have it registered to them as such they can use the previous whatever they're calling grandfather clause now god damn it they can use the previous oh, is forever Gottfried. <sighs> um something that i want to point out is that a boar is a it's a charge it's a heraldic charge 
Hi. So you use it as a surname. I know you documented it as a surname, and you you've got all of the 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 Port on Wee award names used Bohr as a surname rather than Bohr as a heraldic charge, and uh, I just figured it was you know style choice. Um. No, it was because uh, what I looked at was we couldn't have the. It was award of Bohr's whatever because it couldn't be a word of the bull's eye and i let me find it yeah no i get that but but magmore submitted and registered uh order of the bull's, bull's horn, horn. so Riz, you know Riz. there's probably still time for you to go make comments over on uh, big oscar about that mm -hmm. Because if you want Order of the Boar's X, um, I da 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 da. da. Let's see here. Um, okay. Okay, now. Yep. That's all on the July. In July, all of those are in July. And July closes out end of September. Oh, so, so there's plenty of time, time to go back and, yes. and say, look, we want order of the Boar's X. Yes. And here's why we can have it. So, Zanita, you can jump on that. I'll I'll be right behind you. I'll be right there with you. Giovanni, yeah. be right right there. Yeah. All right. So, as for this one, I'm gonna. As for these Magmore ones, I'm gonna send them up with the apostrophe and with the the. Yes, and if we can, if. Uh, Hervais, did you drop the? Is that the link? No. The can you drop me the O and A link for the, for the uh, Magmore bullshorn? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then I'll pop it into Oscar okay. super quick. Uh, L O A R, August September seventeen. Submitted as the award of the Hydra's coil with an apostrophe, it is not registrable because it does not follow an attested <coughs> pattern of orders names. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And so a coil is not a heraldic charge. It does not fit the name of Saints X and is therefore it is not justified as submitted. But an I is a heraldic charge and a bull is a heraldic charge. And all of your boars X's they're boars, needle, boars, dart. I think they're, well, maybe not dart, but needle. I mean, some of them are definitely heraldic charges. I think we can look at this after the meeting for the court on we stuff. Um, well, here's another one. Order of award of pewter spoon submitted as award of the pewter spoon. It's not registrable. Well, that's because there is no, I'm sorry, Peter... <laughs> it's not a heraldic charge. Pizzle is, but you know, registrable. It's fine. We can totally yeah. send this up. I'm just telling you, I think that they're going to drop the apostrophe. Um, um, okay. And I think that if nothing else, we'll mention that the existing uh, registration should get Mag more past that point, regardless. Mm hmm. All right, moving right along. Item number 10, much the same discussion. Uh, award of the calf of Magmore, although that can surely have a the, and there's no possessive in there. Calf of Magmore. Um, somebody um, uh, was complaining when I said it shouldn't be uh, tinctured or when they get around to a badge. 
and um, they didn't really understand. Um, and I refer, if this comes up, I refer them to Exodus chapter 32, verses oh. 1 through 13. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> on the other hand, you know, if it's not your particular faith <laughs> practice, maybe it's not something that leaps to mind. <laughs> um, um, it's entirely plausible, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, I got it. We'll get word in 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's number 10. Uh, the note is to just send it up. All right. Number 11. Similar question. Order of cattle's ring. Well, once again, the apostrophe is going to be a question. Yeah. Cattle is not a charge, but cattle, it's a given name. Yeah. So this one we can't back into it with they've already had bull apostrophe s registered. You might be able to get the apostrophe s really maybe not and <clears throat> above our pay grade in any case. Check. But yes, Anita, I will utterly utterly support you. Get the get, see what I did there. Support you in uh, trying to yes, get a, an apostrophe for uh, and a the for at least some of your your four uh, orders. Um, okay, item number twelve. Uh, new order name for the barony: Order of Spirit of Magmore. This might be. I don't know. I'm willing to call this one above our pay grade too. Same here. This this, this argument's a little more tenuous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one might get bounced. A little bit of a breeze from the hands. Um but and 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 the note about the you'd really rather have Espiritu Magmore that that who knows where that'll go. I I certainly can't say off my top of my head, but yeah, send it up. Yeah. Um the fact that they they have documented here uh Knights of the Holy Spirit, so this would be very similar in that it just would drop the word holy and so <coughs> That's, yeah, that's, that's that's not implausible, at least. Yeah. It's, yep. it's, it's, a, it's it's at least a fair cop. All right. So we're just going to send it up. It's above our pay grade, if nothing else. Um, item number thirteen: uh, name and device for Nyal Lauskeg. Uh, first, anything about the name? Nobody said anything about the name. Doesn't look like there was really anything to say about it. You're bossy. You're bossy all the way. Um, you know, and, and nothing nothing objectionable. There are epithetical by names which aren't going to work anyway because <clears> – <throat> but that's not one of them. Yep. All right, then. So the device. Bert conjoined in pale a tree eradicated – and an elephant statent trumpeting argent. You're going to send it back because that elephant is Yulilat. Hmm? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it doesn't have its head tipped back. Okay. Yeah, he, the elephants are allowed to play instruments. Um, more importantly, the uh, Modar's comment as supported by sea uh, stag is is kind of to the point okay with the with the roots of the tree over overlying the, the elephant there's an awful lot of overlap that's an, that's an easy because I was looking at at, the, at some of this is more or less I'm hearing that Sen is gonna say no and it's gonna get returned especially because of the precedent there right yeah it's pretty solid okay 
then having already spoken with the 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 submitter and gotten their blessing uh images three and four is the direction that they would like to go so a tree cooped yes a tree cooped issuing from the from the back of an elephant or do we right. say maintaining maintaining atop its back a tree cooped as it no it's there. not maintaining i, I issue no. issuing from issue. the elephant yeah right issue. makes yeah. it clear they're connected of course, this demotes the tree to a secondary charge. I have no problem with that. Yep. Well, if you say if you say in pale a tree issuing from an elephant, we're now saying they're co-primary. Yeah. Okay. I mean, sure. And that's well, that's a we, point that can be made at, at the wreath level. Or would it be that tree has a sufficient equivalent visual weight with the elephant? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's almost just, yes. Both both charges cross the profess line. Yeah, oh, that's, especially that's, on three, that's, four. that's that's useful for this purpose. If we're using three four, for sure they are co-primary. Yes. yes, and they and they said definitely on three four. Um, if Modar is on here, but on on YouTube, uh, I need to get the full fledged imagery. Uh, those JPEGs are three four because when I try to pull it off, it comes up as not useful. Uh, it doesn't right. look like he's on chat. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Um sorry, I'm I have a dog who might need to go out. Hey. Um trying to get the roommate to to deal with the dog. Go on. Go on. Go go get go go get your monkey. All right. Sorry. Um so my question is what blazon shall I put into the notes? Um I think I like the the uh, maintaining atop its back mm -hmm. a tree. No, it cannot be. The eradication, no. um, then um, that will work a lot better. It's going to be cooped, so. Okay. It, it's issuant from okay. a, a tree issuant from an elephant. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me try this. So, vert oh let me type oh i can't see what i'm typing um okay vert a tree and we don't need to say cooped or do we i wouldn't but that's me issuant from the back of an elephant yeah mm -hmm. An elephant statent trumpeting argent. All right, make that all okay. So that's the new blazon. All right, and send it up. Okay, we're getting close to done. Um, item number fourteen: Suta Aki Nakamura, new name. We have the Aki and the Nakamura from NCMJ, but the Suta is not found in in Solveig's little pamphlet. Nobody wanted to comment, and now nobody still wants to comment. Has anybody clicked the link to see? I did. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. 1600 to 1700 so mm. so we know that it would be nakamura tsuta aki if we could document suta at all uh suta is a part of atsutaka <coughs> i don't know if that actually helps any but we don't have any registered I guess I hesitate to to return it because you know I I I think it'll bounce. I think the Tuda part will bounce, but you know the the college somebody else might come up with with something uh, to, and you know save this. I'd so, say send it up. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The article that they submitted, I mean, one of its sources is NCMJ. The other one, it looks to be a Japanese printing of a name article, names, historical perspective. So. And it's and this article is saying that Suda is being pulled from the 1600s, which would put it gray area. Yeah. It's above our pay grade to make it's, the decision it's, on whether. It's, yeah, it'll be like the other one. This is the best that we have. If anyone can come up with better, please, we welcome it. Should we send it up as is, or should we uh, swap around and put this surname nope. in? Send it, as send it as is. Send it up as is. Okay. As long as they didn't check the boxes, the college will will right. adjust. And, and indeed, um, from Marie Chantal Delaire, she, she reports that the submitter said, not a problem. But uh, when, when they were talking about the name and the order it belongs in, but then she filled out her own forms and submitted the name in the European order. So I think we have the submitter's approval, uh, not that the higher level college tends to worry about that. But all right. It's, it's, good, to, it's good to say you talk to the submitter. That that always helps. Mm -hmm. All right, it makes Pelican happy. Okay. Um. All right. Sorry. Okay. So item number fifteen, the last item, we have a name and device for Wilhelm von Brandt. Uh, first, the name. Okay. The name should is non problematic. Okay. And even yeah, the name's non problematic. Yeah, the 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 article check fine. Yeah, I'm just surprised that it had. I thought it had regist been registered before. Okay. All right, so going to go ahead and just send up the name and the device per Saltier, Argent, and Azure, a Phoenix Ore. I'm going to whine about this again. I did it on paper. Um, when you've got the flames tinctured the same as the bird, it doesn't make it easier to identify by any means. And it could just as easily, I, we could live with that uh, if they were tinctured the flames or tinctured jewels. Um, I really, I really hate this. Um, the, the drawing style doesn't help with that matter because no, the flames, no. and the flames are stylistically similar. They could be different. They could be different enough to it not be an issue. Yeah. Just a little more gap between the, the wing and the flame. Even okay now, uh, I suggested a possible conflict uh, with uh, uh, Vert ostensibly Argent of Phoenix or uh, with uh, uh, just the field, but then I w was pointed out that uh, uh, the ostensibly would could be a second is, point is is a second is a secondary charge group. So, yep. Yeah. So we're good. Modar there. is correct, but Modar cites Germany, Sable, and Ghouls of Phoenix or issuing from Flames proper. And we yeah. got one. That's a change for the field and a change for the Flames. Yeah. No. Charge. Yeah. Half the Flames. Okay. The Flames. The Flames count for half the charge. The charge is overall three quarter gold, one quarter red. Because yeah. proper flames are half gold, half red. Yeah. As as Modar Modar analyzes it. Uh, so And because it's already ha it, it's yeah. It it's would half have ore and half ore and ghouls, and that adds up to more than half considerably more than half ore, and so 
its ore for conflict purposes. Mm-hmm. And you run into the same issue if you made the flames ghouls. Mm-hmm. No. No. Oh, okay, here. Um, well, if the flames are ghouls... Then that would be half the charge, a righteous different color. Okay. That would be a that would be a ti- a, a, a tighter call. Yeah. Um prob- yeah, probably still be a conflict under those circumstances. <clears throat> so this is like saying a charge group is made up of a book and a bell, and the book is in, in one, the book and bell are both yellow and then the other one of them is red and yellow so it's per pale whatever so you're not changing enough you all in 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 a case like that you have changed half the group no no not if the other one is if if the book is half red half yellow (sighs) (laughs) okay so my example does not work yeah um, I still say we should send this up, maybe to get a a, de- a decisive ruling from from Reith, But I think uh, he's worse, probably worse. right. This is going to be a bounce. Yeah, worth this becomes a, a, a precedent setting test case. Um. Yeah, I want to err on the side of giving the submitter the best chance, or giving the submitter the benefit of the doubt. That's where I want to err. Sounds like a plan. All right. You can say we fear this may we fear this may conflict with, but yeah. But it's too tight to call. We're we're going to send it up for a definitive ruling. Yep. Jessica Clarendy of North March. Okay. There we go. Copy. Paste. Okay. Well, all right. So that is everything on this letter. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, start at the top of my notes. I'm going to let other people follow along and tell me if I have forgotten anything. Item number one, the name. We're sending it up. Number one, the device. We will reblazon. As quarterly ghouls and sable, two rabbits statant, erect, respectant, sustaining above their heads a bat displayed argent. And mention the cant so the bat doesn't get changed to a rare mouse. Yes. Sounds good. Uh, Item number two, the name, send it up. Item number two, the device, reblazon as profess per pure and argent, a demi bear issuant from the line of division, maintaining a sage blossom slipped and leaved, comma, an open book counterchanged, and send it up. Um, item number three, the name. Uh, we're going to send it up, but we are going to contact the submitter, warn her that the patronymic must be doctor, not son, and Dorcas will take point on that. I put a comment over in the chat comment thingy yes. uh, where I found Nicholas Ertzen and Katrina Ertzen. So it's a possible need to be changed. Yes, it's so a possible need to be changed. It might be changed. Yes. yes. Okay. So definitely cite those two things. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, you the have link. a link to post that note here in the comments. It is. Oh, the, sure. It yes, it will do. Nope, no, 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 no. Because, ta da, that comment is now posted in the comments. <laughs> what? Bruised by Saker. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. All right, cool. Okay, great. Um, That was. All right, that was uh, number three name. Okay, but I'm still going to warn her that they might change it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. But okay. when I was Zanita was saying, I'm going to post it in. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's done. Okay. Item number three, the device. We're going to send it up as is. Mm. Item number four, the augmentation. Send that up. Number five is a device. It's a resub. And we're going to send it up. And it's probably new to Laurel. So 
we'll double check that and make a change if we need to. Uh, number six, the augmentation, send it up. Hope for the best. Number seven, the name, send that up. And the device, send it up. Number eight, the name, we will send it up. The device, we will mention the SFPP and send it up. Number nine, the order name, we will send it up, but we will also mention the existing registration of Bull's Horn to this barony. Uh, number 10, the order name, send it up. 11, send up that order name. 12, send up the order name. 13, the name, we will send it up. And the device, we will we will change the we will change the the artwork so you're going to need new uh forms from Mo modar well i've got the forms i'm the one who did up the forms what i need is the image the, the new image so the i can that that is the right size and shape that you can drop it into oh, the forms. absolutely okay. correct yes okay so use new artwork reblazon it to be vert uh impale god type no, no, no. Don't, don't need impale just vert a tree issuant from the back of an elephant statent trumpeting argent make, make that an oak tree explicitly because it's got righteous acorns right yeah, but the, it's like the, default, oh, the default tree yes so, that's us okay so, no. all right all right got that never mind uh, all right yep. <clears throat> Item number 14. The name, we're going to send it up as is. Uh, number 15, the name, we will send that up. Uh, and number 15, the device, we will send it up, but mention that we fear a conflict with Jessica Herindi of North March, registered in March of 1975. Yes. Okay. And that is everything. Does anybody have anything else to add? This is not an addition. It's um, a digression. Um, I'm going to try to get that rules for that game written up and get that in the mail to you fairly soon. Oh, nice. All right. So maybe we'll talk about it uh, next month's meeting now that you've teased people because this is still being recorded. <laughs> Um, okay, so the last thing that I'm going to mention is that the next internal decision meeting will be September the 24th. That's a Monday, as always. And um, thanks for watching. Has anybody said anything in uh, YouTube or? Uh, nope. Okay. Well let then, sure um, let, let me let me say something here. Yes. On, on that, on uh, Jessica Lorindi. Yes. I. <clears throat> took the opportunity to actually go look at that ancient 1975 artwork, uh, which is in black and white. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it doesn't, it didn't offer anything helpful here in terms of you know, possibly saving the probable conflict. Ah, yeah. But, you know, it was worth a shot to see if, since it was from that far back, who knows what we'd find. Uh -huh. <clears throat> All right. Well, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and click this little stop button. Thank you all. See you next month. Everybody wave. Bye.